Hello everyone, welcome to Indian School of Physics. Guys, this is Nitin here and uh, today I gave this problem uh, from uh, INSP champs. It's a thermodynamics based problem and uh, slightly on the easy side but still conceptual problem. So I'll just brief you. So some amount of gas is present inside this uh, piston. Basically it's a tube in that two pistons are connected with masses. Uh, they are having masses of M1 and M2 and this tube is a highly connecting tube highly conducting tube what is the meaning of this these terms we need to understand like uh, highly conducting tube uh, its meaning is that whatever temperature of surrounding is there that temperature will be present with the, uh, uh, that temperature will be of the gas also because uh, uh, heat will very quickly transfer from uh, gas to surrounding or surrounding to the gas mass of gas is negligible compared to the masses of uh, pistons and cross section area is given as a and there is no friction anywhere so it is given initial situation some volume is given to you and they are asking in the question that what will be the distance between the pistons after a long time so here uh, as we will allow these pistons to move the gas will not be in uh, uh, gas will not be in thermodynamic equilibrium that equilibrium will be disturbed however if you see uh, what is going to happen that since uh, uh, we have a very highly conducting tube temperature of gas is going to be constant let's say final distance is uh, x so finally when this distance comes to uh, some steady state value final distance right this entire system of pistons and gas will behave like one single block and uh, uh, there will not be any relative separation between these two and in that situation uh, gas will attain a final equilibrium thermodynamic equilibrium we can write here uh, and for combined system we can write in the beginning f1 minus f2 is equal to m1 plus m2 plus m0 into acm but here mass of the gas is negligible compared to piston so we can say this f1 minus f2 value is m1 plus m2 times acm and now here just now i have sp uh, spoken about the gas will be in thermodynamic equilibrium after a long time the reason being the separation between pistons is not changing we are assuming but uh, if we are uh, uh, encountering with the real situation then it can uh, have some kind of oscillations also that means that minimum distance will come and after that uh, it is after that it is rebound back but here we are assuming that uh, uh, <coughs> To achieve thermodynamic equilibrium, there must be some presence of uh, uh, friction. But we have written here uh, no friction anywhere. So uh, this question, in order to solve, we need to understand this very uh, uh, at conceptual level that if we are keeping completely zero friction, then in that situation, we will have a, a case where gas will come to this uh, minimum distance and it will go back. But since uh, we want a final steady state value, that means uh, I should have written here negligible friction. I should have written here negligible friction means there is some friction present for sure. Due to which the steady state value we are uh, getting if we are keeping no friction then in that case gas will never come back to the uh, thermodynamic uh, equilibrium so some friction is there and finally due to which gas comes in uh, this thermodynamic equilibrium after a long time and in that situation by ignoring uh, friction we can say here uh, that uh, forces on this is going to be balanced and when you substitute the value of uh, this f equal to ma we are applying and finally we are getting this value of p gas into a as m2 f1 plus m1 f2 by m1 plus m2 now we can use idle gas equation and uh, here since uh, mass of the gas is given so we can write it as a number of moles which is uh, m0 by this is molar mass of the gas so when we substitute these uh, values we are getting the final steady state value of uh, separation between the two pistons so there is a uh, case here where you need to pay attention because if uh, this is completely zero friction smooth surfaces ideal surfaces in that case gas will never come back to this uh, steady state uh, value however that minimum distance and uh, steady state value of the distance is going to be same uh, in case of uh, 
zero friction or negligible friction so that's it guys in this problem it's a conceptual problem slightly on the easy side and uh, when i gave this question many students gave the correct answer for this so uh, i'll be coming up with another uh, set of problems like this where uh, it will check your conceptual uh, clarity and these are very good problems very similar problems has uh, appeared in uh, some olympiads also however this is uh, completely on je advance uh, level so thank you thanks for watching this video